Well, with the COVID-19 pandemic sweeping across the globe, that is, um, ventilators and oxygen have been particularly important. Now, Sharon Baranga is at the Kenyatta University, where the Principal Secretary for University Education is launching ventilators developed by KU. Sharon, uh, have you seen the ventilators? What do they look like? Will they be effective uh, in helping those infected with the COVID-19 virus to recuperate? Yes, Olive, I've seen the prototype of the ventilator. But first, before we get into the ventilators, I'd like to say that ever since the learning institutions were closed, that was uh, the third week of March, uh, Kenyans online have been taunting university students, uh, saying why they were staying at home together with uh, learners from primary and secondary schools while their counterparts in other parts of the world were working in research of uh, uh, possibly coming up with a vaccine for coronavirus. But today, 15 students from Kenyatta University, from the School of Engineering, uh, Medicine and, Pharma uh, and uh, Pharmacy, together with their dean, worked on a prototype of a ventilator for only seven days. And they came up with a ventilator which has been approved. Some of the medical experts have looked at it and say that this can be used. And uh, according to them, they say they use close to half a million to develop one ventilator. And they're looking into getting approved of uh, and, and uh, generating more of these ventilators, which are scarce currently right now in the world. And right now I'm joined by Christine, who's one one of the students who worked on uh, coming up with a ventilator, Christine Karibusana. Thank you. Very Kindly much. Tell, tell us the hours you put into developing this ventilator and uh, how it works. Okay, my name is Christine, a fourth year biomedical engineering student mm -hmm. here at Kenyatta University, and I'm part of the team that have, you know, has innovated the ventilator. Mm -hmm. So basically, we've done this project for seven days. And we've worked for all uh, approximately 18 hours mm -hmm. in a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you put 18 hours into this project. Mm -hmm. We have Kenyans who are taunting you online that you're staying at home. What can you tell them? I can tell them that they should believe in us, the university students. Some of us are outside here mm -hmm. trying to fight and work for our country mm -hmm. and to give service to humanity. Mm -hmm. As engineers, we are normally taught that we should gain the engineering principles so that we can save humanity. And I, as a biomedical engineering student, I'm using these principles to make innovations in the medical sector, as we have done here today. Okay, you came with uh, the prototype. You took uh, one week to come up with, a, with the prototype. So if you get approved, eh, how many of the ventilators can you produce in, a, in, a, in, in, a, in what span of time? Okay, if we came up with one in seven days and it's a prototype, which is the hardest face in a project mm -hmm. then i believe we can make more in a day mm -hmm. and maybe that can be answered by our lecturers mm -hmm. who will organize that mm -hmm. and organize the production and materials mm -hmm. yeah thank you one of your lecturers said you can come up with 50 ventilators in a week yes mm -hmm. yes i believe we can come up with 50 just as he said mm -hmm. because if at all it will go to mass production and we'll get the necessary and appropriate equipment mm -hmm. we can handle it yeah Thank you so much. That was Christine, a student from uh, Kenyatta University, one of the team members who worked in developing the prototype of a ventilator that uh, uh, soon could be approved and they could be given that go ahead to continue producing them in mass. Olive? 